Hello YouTubers, this is airsoftware 92 and um, I just want to show you guys how to FTP to your Xbox using Flash FXP. It can be a trial or anything like that, but apparently I just got the free version that I can have forever, which you already know what I mean. If you know anything about torrents, stuff like that. I'm not going to post a link to that, well maybe, but it depends on how, the way, how many people watch this video. But um, to begin with, you would need your. Okay. Yes. To begin with, you would need a Cat 5e crossover cable. Crossover cable looks like that. It looks like your standard Ethernet cable, but it's not. Everything's been switched over. Thus, name the term of crossover. Well, anyway, y'all already know anything about that. You also need a soft modded or hard modded Xbox. You cannot FTP to an unmodded Xbox. So, apparently, in order for you to get here, you probably had your Xbox modded or something like that. But uh, anyway, let's get the show on the road. Alright, hello, YouTubers. And um, this is a tutorial on how you. FCP your Xbox using Flash FXP with the Windows XP operating system. And um, let's get started. First, you connect your crossover cable to the back of your Xbox while it's powered off, and the other end to your computer. Then you power on your Xbox. The next step is to go into your dashboard, enter its settings, and write down your IP address, password, and um, username, because you need this later on. Alright, then we can just go down here in the start menu, go on the control panel, and go into network connections. After you've done that, the next step is to go into local area connections, which is it's normal to have an X on it right now because you gotta change settings in it anyway. So you right click it and go into properties. And this is the part where it's kind of changed in the Windows 7 and Windows Vista versions. Because instead of it just having one internet protocol TCP IP, it'll have two. It'll have one that says Internet Protocol TCP IP4 and another one that says Internet Protocol TCP IP6. For Windows 7 and Vista, you choose the 4. After that, you go on the 4 or this one right here for XP users and go under its properties. And this part is the same for all operating systems. Originally, it'll be sitting up here on a tag, obtain an IP address automatically, but you're supposed to go here to use the following IP address and type the following things in. The first one will be 192.168.0.1. The next one, it auto completes itself when you click on it. Which is submit mass 255 255 255 and your default gateway should be 192 168 0. one just like the first set of numbers we put in. And then you hit OK. Then you close out. Now the hardest part has been completed. Now you can go ahead and get off of your network settings and you go to your flash of XP, you open a flash of XP, go under sites and site manager. You want on it to load up. Alright, uh, this is a project you have to follow real carefully. You go on a new site, which is down here at the bottom left. And type down whatever names fit. I'll just call it Xbox. Okay, okay. Now it should unfade this stuff right here. But for your IP, this is where you put your Xbox's IP address at. Now 
Now it could be different on other ones, I'm not sure, but on all three of my Xboxes are the same. So and a password, um, using that password would be Xbox and Xbox. Now this, the next step is going into your options, which is right next to the general tab, and un unclick use passive mode. You have to click it twice to get rid of the square and the check mark. And you hit apply. And then before you hit connect, this is where you reboot your Xbox just to make sure it connects. Now it probably should connect it to yours already. But I do this just in case. I just go ahead and reboot the Xbox. Then you wait on it to boot back to the dashboard for a little bit, and that's what I am waiting on currently. All right. Then you hit connect right here on Flash XP. And there you have it. You are now connected to your Xbox. The file suggestion you pop up on the screen is on my Xbox currently. And what I'm going to do right now is to transfer it these trainers right here into my trainers folder that is in my elf drive for my HDMC. Now you might not have a trainers folder in your elf drive if you have the original stock hard drive that came with the Xbox. Now I done modified mine to have a 250 gig, so my file setup is kind of different. So I'm going into my trainers folder, which is right here, and these are all the trainers I currently have. Keep in mind, trainers are cheap, people. Don't ask me to restart a question like that again. And basically, I just drag and drop it to the other side. And I'm just going to overwrite it because I already copied these files already. It's just an example. I'm going to say overwrite all. Get this dialog box. And there you go, how you have it. Then completed. I've transferred what I will need to transfer. And you can transfer videos, um, ISO files into the um, Xbox for putting games into your hard drive. Um, and that's pretty much it.